starting to melt off out here. I'm gonna take the 49, put it in the shop. Got some stuff to work on on it. Got to get the tilt bed out of here, so fire up my Dodge, let it warm up for a little bit. Should probably honestly throw that in here and change the oil and the fuel filters on it. Hold the rat rod on here. And it was puking some oil. But anyways, yeah, I got the winch mounted on this trailer and so now I can go drag on some cars and pickups that I wanna bring back easier. Way easier with a tilt bed, so gonna get this out of the shop. All right, go fire up the Dodge. See if it'll start up. I haven't drove this thing in a long while. the last few days but today's it's actually warm so we'll see how she starts up other thing i want to do is fix my fuel gauge it's going to run one ground i like to get that working so it says coolant temp is 46 degrees fired up like a champ Let's 
looks like they sent me my second set of door seal. My lower door trim. Sun visor. It's going to be the second sun visor. Sun visor rods. My door plate for covering where my hinge is. Same with that one. And I got one wiper blade there, a second wiper blade, and two wiper arms, and that's it. We'll go ahead and work on installing them today. So first thing I'm going to start with is probably these door panels. On the bottom of my door. I'm not going to paint them right now because maybe in the future I'll end up painting my painting my door panel. I'm not sure. So that's pending. So I'll just bolt these on or screw them on, and we'll go from there. Then we'll do the visors. All right, this one still had all the door screws in it. Somebody. Somebody pulled the panel off at one time and didn't, didn't ever replace it. So, this is the new panel, it's just a repop. We'll start with getting it mounted. Make sure holes kind of line up. good that center screw the holes off just a little bit later if I go to paint these and paint the whole door I'll worry about relocating that hole I'll probably bend that shut weld it up drill the hole off to the side and re-dimple it but four screws is plenty for now time for the other side same with this side all the screws are in it Pull them out.
panel is done. Now let's put some visors on the rods. Alright, so with these, it has right hand and a left hand, bottom and a set. The visors do not matter. So I'll just start with lubing up the shaft on this and I'll go ahead and install the visor on. Gosh dang, that's gonna look freaking good inside that cab. Let's uh, let's go screw it in. Probably sorta ish dark, but bear with me. Pretty sure this one never even had a visor on this side just just by looking at the holes never having anything threaded into it now they don't have to be super tight just snug them down this is a pretty weak little impact driver there we go got some visor action Will be nice. Block out some sunshine. That's pretty good tension too, so that is also a plus. So we'll go ahead and flip them up. Let's assemble the next one. This one's labeled left hand. Line it up. Ah, right there. All right, let's go install this bugger. All right, same as the other side. Three screws, got it all mounted, snugged up. Looking good. All right, with these wiper blades, all you have to do is stick it down in the bottom kind of push and press in and it locks into place. And for the spline shaft, there's just a little keeper there. So you just figure out where you want your wiper to sit. You push it on and it's not coming off. Now, I don't have a wiper motor in this yet. It still has the vacuum operated one. So later, couple weeks I'll order a motor and then my wiper mechanism will work as it should but I'll put the other side on now all right let's see if I can get this thing unclipped and off of here just a little clip pop it out of the way now, I might have to come back and reorient these later because I'm not 100% sure where the arms are sitting right now, but just for so it looks normal, I'll put them on, have them in place. But yeah, as soon as I hook up that motor, I might have to change the angle of the blade, so we'll worry about that later. Okay, so for the tail here, I got the original chain with the hook. I'm going to cut it off and use the existing ring here. And I'm going to put a new chain on 
that I'll weld onto the tailgate to hold it in the level position when it's open. So I got my big bolt cutters. Just fish that in there and give it a snip on both sides. Get them out of there. Just picked up some chicken from my local ranch and hardware store. And I got some of these for attaching here. And I thought about attaching here, but I think I'm just gonna weld the chain direct. I can still unhook it from here if I wanted to pull the tailgate off in the future. And it's not solid. All right, just gonna attach this on here. Plenty of chain. Do the 
same thing over here. I'm just going to tack it and test it. Perfect. Can't get much better than that. Got the chain all done, welded up. <clears throat> Handles are just, I mean, they're welded on strong enough to hold the tailgate, but I do want to box it in all the way around later. Same with this side. Put a little spritz of army green paint on there to kind of blend it in. Left the chain shiny. Maybe eventually it'll rust. Probably won't ever paint it. But yeah, so you can Latch the tailgate open, bring it down, chains hold it up. So, so far the tailgate's a done deal for now. Got the visors in on both sides. Got the little door hinge panel cover put on. And wiper blades and wiper arms installed. Just need the wiper motor. I ordered badges the other day. I still haven't seen them come in yet. Hopefully they come soon. Got one just dangling over here. It says 36. It's supposed to be 3600. That'll be it for today. Thank you for watching my videos and like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you, guys.